Hello, all you heroes and ghouls, and welcome back to Hell Yeah Gaming Plays a Cotillion, episode 26 on in here. And we have just revealed Ikiadil's true form. And I feel like I gave him the wrong voice based on his transformation on the last episode. He went from being an evil Sheikah to being Egyptian priest Seto Kaiba. So, without further ado, uh, I will be changing his voice accordingly as soon as this boss fight is complete. So let's kick his butt! Go ahead and you have anything to... No, 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 no. We have magic it all up. Let's try to paralyze his butt with a lightning blast. Because that was working wonders for us before. Uh, hyper barrier, thank you. John study him and uh, Mika no 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 quiver poison his butt that's what we need and of course Mitchell you know what you're doing all right John what do we have what do we have I know you will unleash the knowledge wait 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 hold on hold on hold on what 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 it's okay one, two, three. One, two, three. This asshole has a hundred million hit points. Unlimited the, the frickin' the, the magic. 100,000 defense on both sides. 500 at of both attack. A, I... What? I... Okay, so... Well, at least he's paralyzed. Okay, so this is clearly a hopeless boss fight. This is clearly a hopeless boss fight. There is no reason to even uh, do attacks. I just gotta... Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my god. You know, okay, let's try to use the flame sword just to see if maybe it'll do something. I... You guard, because I don't want to waste your ammunition. Oh my god, this... Ah, no! We gotta... Miss, please. Okay, flame sword. Zero damage, yeah. Okay, nothing. Yeah, there's... It, it's, it's pointless. It's pointless. I shouldn't have even... Shouldn't have even paralyzed him, because now I'm literally just prolonging my fate. Wow. This is sad. <laughs> okay, everyone just... Everyone guard. Everyone guard. Everyone guard. Except for John, who's in rage mode, so he's just gonna go for it anyway. Yeah... Guard, 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 guard. Okay. Something's not right. Okay. Okay. What's 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 happening? Bam. Okay. So he's not actually hitting me very much, like for very hard. That at least tells me something. Maybe this isn't actually a hopeless fight. Uh, everyone guard. Maybe I have to use the Omni Strike. Maybe if I get everyone's technical points high enough, then... Oh god, Inferno's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, it actually didn't even hurt that bad. Okay, so if I get everyone's technical points up high enough, I can try the Omni Strike and just see how well that works. Maybe that'll do what I need it to do. Okay, well, Alicia, you at least want to try to heal everybody. Healing, wind, everyone. And then everyone just kind of guard from here. Thanks. Oh, boy. Oh, Nelly. Okay, okay. So hopefully there actually is a way to do something here and accomplish some real frickin' progress. Ow. Alicia's frozen for four to you, son of a bitch. Okay. Well then, let's dispel that off of Alicia. Thank you. Uh, 
guard, guard, guard. And we should be able to use Omni Strike here on the next turn. Yeah, use that Dispel Herb. Terraform's gonna hurt. Oh god, Alicia! But, wait. But it was... But the Dispel Herb didn't remove the Frozen... What the... But the what? The how what? Now what? Uh, not the... Bow. <laughs> oh no. Omni Strike. Yeah, okay, it's 50 TP from everybody. But... It's not going to be usable right now because Alicia's frozen. <sighs> okay. Full potion on Alicia. John. Uh. <gasps> Ooh, all negative statuses. Hopeful, and, then, and we have eight of them. Okay, hold on. Back, back, back. Stenabar, you use full restore on Alicia. John, full potion on yourself. Mika, um, no, I, I, I still have the flowers, the ten flowers that have no effect. Oh, the placebo might completely restore all allies. Oof. Okay, two hundred. Uh, okay, super potion. Stenabar. Mitchell, rum yourself. He's definitely more powerful than this. I've never felt anything like it. Okay. Um, one, wonderful. Yes, that did, in fact, remove her. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Inferno is, yep, that hurt. Okay, Alicia, use healing wind on everyone. Stenabar, unleash the Omni Strike. Hopefully, the Omni Strike has a special property that's going to do this. Uh, Super Potion on Stenabar. Mika, use a Super Potion on Mitchell. Mitchell, use a Super Potion on John. All right. And now let's see how this all plays out. Healing wind. Yay, 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 yay. Good. Omni strike. Oh. No special properties. Stalactite. Yes. Ow. So this is definitely just a survive until Alicia figures out what's happening situation then. Uh, at least I hope so, because I don't want this to be a mandatory party ki Oh, God, you froze Stenabar and John. You monster. Mika, use Super Potion on Mitchell. Mitchell, use Super Potion on... Uh, 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 uh. John. Man, I was gonna freaking save before going up the stairs. I was like, I didn't want to engage the final thing until whatever, whatever. Okay, this is this is a just a bad overall bad situation. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Everyone's just gonna guard eternally, and then I'll just wait for everyone to die and see if that triggers the the next bit. Okay, well, John's done. <laughs> Stenabar survived by the skin of his teeth by virtue of his special ability. And, hey, we'll just see how this all goes, I guess. Mitchell's going to go down here, I'm sure. Oh, barely, barely hanging on. Okay, guard, guard, guard. <laughs> Ikidil, why are you holding back? You could wipe us out without effort, yet you allow us to live. Huh. Bleh. Okay. He's... It, music is fading, and... You're starting to wonder about what Govia's real intentions are, aren't you? Cool. We're still going. <laughs> Alright. And... Down goes another one. Guard. Guard. 
Okay. Hopefully this ends it. He, you're just using a regular attack now? No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. Guarding is what we're doing. Yes. And Mitchell down. Alicia, you're guarding and you're hitting by a stalactite. You're down. Oh. Sadly, the party was never... S ah! There we go! Um, th so that is exactly what I needed to do. It was... Man, that means that there's some good resources I used. Dang it! Ugh! All right. <laughs> Excellent. By keeping the party at the brink of death, over time, Ikiril was able to corrupt their minds. Oh! Okay, this is not what I was supposed to do, so I really was supposed to just keep surviving. <laughs> Got it. Once they were fully under his control, Ikiadil sent them to kill Govia. With Govia out of the way, Ikiadil sent the party on a mission to rid the world of the wickedness of mankind. Having been infused with the energy of monsters, there was no one who could stand in their way. Few survived the onslaught of the demons of Ikiadil. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unique game over. <laughs> that was dark. But cool, I liked it. Oh, and I gotta fight this jerk again. Okay. Alright, guys, I will be right back as soon as I'm able to get back to where I was previously. Yahoo! Alright, we are back here, and I think I'm doing pretty good for the most part. Uh, Alicia's made two comments about him so far. Our health is doing really well. Alicia's magic not doing so hot. So the primary, what I've been trying to do here, is keep everyone alive, which means Alicia's been having to do her healing wind a lot. And in between moments when I can afford it, I've been using lightning blast to try to paralyze paralysis wow to pra paralyze this guy but it's only worked once um so he's been hitting me pretty hard for quite some time uh oh yeah there we go why are you holding back and then he's like Bleh, and the music gets all down and fades out cool all right like yeah why are you holding back because you realize go veers yeah no because he wants to be star scream <laughs> Maybe instead of uh, Seto Kaiba's voice, he should get the voice of Starscream. <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't know. He's not wondering about Govier's real intentions. He just wants to usurp. <laughs> Use us to take over. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. No! Okay. Well, I can afford to try to do another lightning blast at this point. Stenabar, you can... Uh, oof, ooh, oof, okay. Let's give... Do I have anything else that's going to increase EP than the magic water or energy drink? Because those are not very much. That was purified. Oh, wow, yes. 1,500. Absolutely. Use that on Alicia now. And you can use a... We're all out of regular potions. We only have the f one full potion. Ten super potions, which is a thousand to put on... No, we can, we can make it. We can make it. Everyone just guard again. Okay, Stenobar. Throw that uh, cool waterness on Alicia. Lightning blast, please paralyze. Yes, five turns. Five turn paralysis. That is so wonderful. Oh my God, we may pull this out yet. We just might pull this out yet. Okay, healing wind, everybody. Uh, even though there's, you know, most of us aren't that damaged, but every little bit's gonna help at this point. So, just keep lasting. We just gotta keep lasting. Healing wind. Yeah, healing yourself was really the big deal on that one. Good, good, good. Okay, three more turns of paralysis. Guard, 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 guard. Alright. Can we... I hope that these uh, terms where he's paralyzed and unable to do anything actually count towards the 
the time limit or otherwise, this is going to be a not a super special fun time, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, now you've only got one left. Let's try to start paralyzing again. Ah, yes! Hikidil, you're more powerful than Govia could ever imagine, yet you still serve him. I... Don't try to distract me! Oh. Really? Really now? Alright, well that tells me that the, par uh, the turns under paralysis absolutely count. Yes! Oh my god! It, it, it reset the counter, yes. Oh, paralysis, you are number one. You are the absolute best. No question. Oh, you have saved my butt so bad. So much. Oh, let's do this. Come on, guys. Just keep outlasting him until Alicia talks some sense into this guy. Lightning blast did not work. Okay, well, we still have one more try before he gets another attack in. Guard everybody except for Alicia to try to paralyze him. Good thing that magic defense of let, that's off the charts doesn't actually... Oh my god, five turns, yes! This is, without question, working so amazing. This, These are the real strats right here. <laughs> these are the real strats. Uh, okay, just gotta wait it out, and think about Sonya. If Govia cared about anyone, she'd still be alive. I, Sonya, I'm sorry, my love. You are right, of course. I have been thinking about Govia's real intentions. Screw his intentions! I have m- no. <laughs> that joke's not gonna work in this context. He showed no remorse when we found her body in Jinshire, mutated and disgusting. Just like I showed no remorse to all those people I fired. Killed by you, obviously, but you were only defending yourselves. She had become a monster, so I placed her face down in defense mode. And in some ways, Govira and I have become monsters as well. I summoned myself to the field like a deck master from the really bad filler arc from the Noah's Ark. <laughs> Noah. Noah's filler arc. <laughs> I have perfected the infusion process. I have infused myself with so much EP that I am essentially indestructible. Just like my blue eyes white dragon. The power of pure Akatillion runs through my blood now. All without unwanted mutations. But now I feel like humans aren't supposed to have this much power. Really? What gave you the first thought? <laughs> the only way humans are allowed to wield this much power is through money. This power isn't good for isn't for the good of mankind, as Govier claims. If anything, this power would cause more conflict. Not unlike children's card games all of which would certainly lead to the planet's destruction. Hurry, you must go now. I will destroy myself and everything I have created with this power. Um, okay, that seems like a bit of, uh, in, <laughs> uh, overreaction much? <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for helping me see the truth. Literally five minutes ago, you were ready to brainwash us into being evil demons to take over the world yourself. Run. Far from here. Quickly. Ikiadil, we won't forget your sacrifice. Woo! Sten Stenabar, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. What just happened? I couldn't see through the interference. Then suddenly, all traces of the tower vanished. Ikiadil sacrificed himself for the good of the world. Forgive me, but that seems unlikely. Yeah, no kidding. I feel like we needed a bit more build-up to that. 
It's true. He realized that no one should have the power he had. He destroyed himself along with the tower. That is truly remarkable. Now for the trouble currently at hand. Because there is still so much interference, I cannot bring you back. I am also unable to send you your airship anywhere near your current location. What is the closest location you can send it? Well, I can't put it near any villages for fear someone might find it. Really, the only safe place I could put it would be in the southern continent where the floating island is. Oh, that's hundreds of miles away, blimey! I am truly sorry. I cannot put it any closer to you. I have faith you will be able to find your way to it. Doesn't that involve finding a ship and sailing to the southern continent? Where are we going to find a sailing ship in this time period? That's true. Quadros doesn't even exist yet. And the only other settlement on this continent is Jinshire. Jinshire is coastal. We may be able to find a ship there. The landscape may have changed in the past thousand years. We need to take an alternate route from the one we used to get to Quadros. I will remain in contact if you need me. Okay, then. Well, I guess we are just... That was a thing that happened. Hey, a tent! Cool! We gonna encounter some people? No random encounters uh, happening, so that's a thing. And there's no walking animations anymore, I've noticed, so that's weird. Okay, save. Save, save, yes, please. And I, oh, I did also get a new version of the game. New build came up. Let's see. What do you, oh, nothing in here? Cool. Nothing. Anything in this tent? No. Uh, any of these smaller tents have anything in them that I can explore? No. 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 Eh, no. Hmm. What about... What's the sign say? Nothing. Sign says nothing. Ooh. Hey, now. Three beds all in a row here. Ooh. Very, like, uh, Eastern Asian in music going on. No one seems to be here, and it doesn't look like I can interact with anything, though. Oh, letter. Can I see what's in the letter? No? Okay. Well, then. That's the only place I could go in so far. Hey, the music didn't change when I left. Nice. I like it. Oh, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Mushrooms. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Badger, badger, badger. And if you don't know what that was, then congratulations. You know, We've now reached a time in which there is a generation who has not seen the very first internet meme. No, nothing here. Nothing going on. All right, well, let's just keep on moving over. Nope, nothing. So I guess that little tent, uh, that little tent village is the origins of Quadros. Very humble beginnings for a very dynamic end. <laughs> Man, slow moving. I don't know why I don't have the ability to fast walk anymore. Oh, well, cave. Let's leave the cave. <laughs> I just want to see if there's anything up and around here that I can uh, yoink on first before I try to go in El Cavo and see what goes on in there. Ah, oh, Jinshire! There we go. Nice. But nothing over yonder. Hmm. I see, I see. Hmm. Okay, let's go and explore the cave now. We're going to go ahead and get in the cave. So, God, why can I not fast move anymore? Is Did that something get turned off in the options? Auto run off. Let's turn auto run on and see if that does anything. 
Nope, I just straight up can't run anymore. I mean, I can in certain uh, in certain screens, but it seems to yeah. See, now I can do my running. Da da dun. Hey, out the cave. Yeah, that was the, so. That's the cave where I will encounter Ikiadil many years in the future. And nothing else seems to be happening out here. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I can do in the past that might, like, set up a trigger for the future. Hey, little shack. What's going on? Ah, I've been here before. Whoa. <gasps> Shirt was found. Okay. Uh, shirt is not anything here. An ordinary shirt. Nothing special about it at all. Interesting. So, I actually do recall uh, one of the creators, Ali, telling me that in this place I could put something in the chest and then later come back, you know, after a thousand years and then something's cool. But I might have ruined it uh, before it was even programmed before, by opening the chest in the future before I got the chance to go back. Well, the little town that's right here doesn't exist. So that one little farmstead has been there longer than that whole town? Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, I guess I'm just heading on back to Jinshire, and I will jump on ahead. <coughs> Okay, hold on. I gotta stop this here for a second because I got attacked in the cave. And there had been no random encounters up until this point, and now I'm getting attacked by this pyre ant. Whoa. Uh, everyone just do some regular attacks, and then John study it. This is just gonna be, you know, measuring out the effectiveness of how things look here. We'll see what all is going on. Uh, 10,000. Stats aren't anything to write home about, I don't think. And it's neutral to all elementals. I, I feel like the enemies... Uh, ooh, yay, recovering arrow. I feel like the enemies in this game need to have more variety on the uh, their elemental affinities, like what they're weak and resistant to. Uh, regular attack did nothing, okay. Like, that just seems like something that I think really needs to... Ooh, good... Good crit, Mika, good crit. Uh, it feels like most creatures I've encountered have neutral uh, all across the board, and that's fine for a good number of things, but it's just been so common at this point that it, it starts to make me wonder, like, why even have elemental affinities to begin with? 12,000 is a good amount of XP. All right, Pyre Ant was dealt with. The, the artwork for the Pyre Ant looked like something out of uh, Bug Fable, uh, which is cool. Like I haven't been able to play that game yet myself, and I actually really want to since it's very much classic Paper Mario. Uh, but, you know. All right, so we'll go ahead, save it, and end things off right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hey, this has been a lot of fun. That Ikki Deal boss encounter where I just had to really stress hard about making it last a long time actually was a lot of fun plus uh, I, I developed a good strategy I think with my just trying to put everything I could into paralysis and it worked out really well so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this drop a like on the video and share it with a friend because that is how we get to grow sharing things with friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more A Cotillion, because it's going to keep going till I get through it all. And smash the notification bell, of course, because once you go ring a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling, then it'll show up in your inbox and your notifications as soon as videos go live. Hey. Go ahead and leave a comment down below on Hopeless Boss Battles, because hey, we had a heck of a one there. Alternatively, leave a comment down below on alternative game overs or game endings because that was a heck of a one. What's your favorite? Uh, what's uh, one that you don't like? 
Do you like the way it was integrated here? I thought the one that they integrated here was actually really cool. I liked the entire ending narrative, so good job on that, guys. So without further ado, all of you have a fantastic rest of your day, and let's give that alternate dark ending a great big hell yeah!